We are on SDL's website. We're gonna click SDL Devel for MinGW because we're gonna be compiling with MinGW. We can save that file. Then Windows R, CMD, CD into downloads, where we just downloaded it to. And if we type dir, we can see all of our files. It's right there. Then we can create a new folder, mkdir, to store the extracted files in, so SDL. And then we can type tar dash xvzf and then our folder name that needs to be extracted, so sdl2 dash devel and then dash c and then where we're extracting it to, so sdl, that folder we just created, hit enter. And we've got all of those files. We can exit out of command prompt and press Windows E, go into our downloads. You can see the folders here and it has the files that we need. Now I'm gonna press Windows R again, go into terminal, CD into where I'm going to create my project. Um, I have a C++ folder, games, SDL, and then I'm gonna create a new folder called tutorial, tutorial, and then I'm gonna open it up in VS Code. All right, and drag this to the side, take up the full window, and in here, new folder, SRC. Now back where we have our extracted folder, the SDL, we can go into the I, because it's gonna be a 32-bit, and this one is the 64-bit, we want the 32-bit. We're gonna go into here, take include and lib, drag these into SRC, and then we're gonna go into bin, take SDL2, pop that in the main directory. All right, we can create two new files, new file, main.cpp, and new file, make file, make file will just make it so we don't have to type the code in the terminal over and over. So all, and then g++ dash i for include, so src slash include, and then dash l for lib, so src slash lib, and then dash o for we're compiling it to an executable, then main, main.cpp, so the executable's name is main, and then main.cpp is what we're compiling, dash l mingw32 to say, hey, we're compiling this um, as mingw, then dash l sdl2 main, and then dash l sdl2. And that should be all the files. And to test to make sure that this compiling and linking is all working in main, I have copied over a program that I wrote that opens up and renders until you click the little Xbox on SDL. So if we open up our terminal and make, we've got a main.exe and then we run it, main, and it comes out white, so it worked. Or if we wanna make sure, just double check, we can change this to zero. Then if we compile it again, so make, run it, main, it now has a blue tint to it because this is the RGB values and that turns it to blue. And if you really want to and you don't want to use a make file, you can just copy over this command into the terminal. So let's delete this executable. Move it here. And it creates that executable main.exe and we've got this working. And lastly, if you have any errors over here saying it cannot find the files or anything like that, we can go Control Shift P, C++, Edit Configurations, and then we can scroll down to our Include Path, set this as Workspace Folder, just like it says up here, and then slash star star and we could have just copied it here and we save that and that should then hopefully remove these errors